are you? Good morning, good morning. Let me make sure I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? I hear you perfect. I got you loud and clear. Okay, that's awesome. So you, how was traffic this morning? You traffic was okay. You definitely see it picking back up, you know. So it's, um, I come from Lakewood Ranch and I drive from Lakewood Ranch to downtown Sarasota. It's about a 20 to 30 minute drive usually. So not bad. It was moving. That's nice. Man on the street. Tell me how traffic is. That's, yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> update. That's the updated 830 with Dave. You know, we get it. <laughs> yep. And the nice thing about the last seven days in our marketplace, not only are things picking up, but we have something really interesting going on that you and I have been talking about for the last couple of days, and that is the first time home buyer effect. And in Sarasota, the average price is only 280. Now that's pretty strong, but of the eight first time home buyers that I started working with since Friday, I've already gone to contract at a single family home in Sarasota, new construction at 266. Wow. Now that's an amazing payment because as you and I know if they're paying fourteen hundred dollars a month in rent now that goes straight to a mortgage and we're very excited our, uh, for those folks aren't we that's really great and, and those new homes have lower homeowners insurance which is part of the payment that we talk about and low taxes so those payments on two hundred sixty six thousand is probably going to be less than fourteen hundred dollars that they're paying for rent and now they have pride of ownership they feel good about where they're going and they're building wealth. Amazing, amazing, amazing time. Well, I love what you just touched on because that came up in all the real estate terms that we use. The number one, and well, there's like a top five questions first time home buyers are asking because there's a difference between PMI insurance, homeowners insurance, association insurance that's covered in the fees. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so when you look, when you make up a, a, a mortgage payment, you usually talk about principal and interest, and then you have taxes, and then you have insurance. That's called PITI, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. But then if you don't put 20% down, which many first-time homebuyers can't, you have this thing known as private mortgage insurance. And as a first-time homebuyer, there's so many options, Sandra, but two of the most options that we're using a lot today is 3% down on a conventional mortgage, and then we had 3.5% down on an FHA mortgage. The biggest difference I get asked all the time, which one should I do? And it really depends on how good your credit is. Um, and also the mortgage insurance on these FHA mortgages, that it doesn't drop off. So for example, a lot of times their parents will tell them, we'll tell them when you get to 20% equity in the home, the mortgage insurance drops off. Well, on these FHA mortgages, that doesn't happen any longer. It stays on forever. So the average person only lives in a home for five years anyway. So it's not a big deal. But for people that are going to be there for a long time, maybe the conventional way is the best option for them. Wow, that's exciting to know because I didn't know that you couldn't take that uh, mortgage insurance. Or I didn't remember yesterday when we were talking about it on FHA about taking that mortgage insurance off because it came up in our conversation of. Living in this home, you're probably going to be here about five years. So I'm glad you touched on that. Right, right. Because a first time home buyer is going to have a couple of things going for them. They're going to ha hopefully have a couple of uh, boosts in their income based on how well they're doing at work, right? Correct. Yeah, they had their boost in income and the equity. We always talk about this, and you know better than I do, but the average appreciation, it might be anywhere from 5 to 7% per year. So as the value of the home goes up and they can pay that mortgage down, you know, they get that equity that's there. So that's what we talk about in five years, you know, essentially 7% times 5, 35% that they're gaining in their investment, which is a nice for, you know, to build, to build wealth. So these are all questions. Oh, I'm sorry. It, no, these are just questions that we have. Sorry. <laughs> so the nice thing about what you also touched in in this unique time, this is not pent up demand. This is our normal 20, 30 year old that we're always teaching how to move into the home. What's unique and special and wonderful for those of us who've been around 20 plus years, we've never seen interest rates 
at this level, which makes an amazing opportunity to get in a home, a bigger home than you could potentially have. What are the interest rates this week? And how do well, they- that's a huge deal. And I'm glad that you said that. I'm going to give you an example. So right now, the interest rate for a first time home buyer for most buyers is about 2.75% to 2.875%. Uh, for a 30-year fixed mortgage, whereas a year ago, for example, it was around 4%. So what that means for the person that's buying that $266,000 home that you mentioned, maybe a year ago at 4%, they can only qualify for $220,000. So they would not have been able to buy the home of their dreams in that new neighborhood in, in, in the area that they wanted with that kind of square footage, but now they can. So now you don't want to wait. Now's the best time because now you can buy more home and have the same payment because it's a lower interest rate. That's very exciting. And for somebody who's thinking, well, why do they keep talking about um, new homes? Well, we have a lot of choices. And you mentioned on something that's really important. New home construction insurance is less. We know why. You want to touch on the top reasons why it's less for a new home? Well, it's built to code. So in Florida, we have hurricanes, we have storms, although our area in Sarasota, we're pretty protected here, we're insulated on the coast. But yeah, the newer the home, the more up to date it is, and the better it's it's built better to the latest code. So you're going to get cheap insurance. And that's a big deal if you're looking at a home. So if you were to buy a resale home, sometimes the insurance could be about $2,000 per year versus maybe only $500 for a new home. That's a $1,500 per year difference, and I'm just on the calculator here, but what that means to you in dollars and cents, that's $125 less mortgage payment, okay, by buying the newer home versus a resale home at $125, you know, that's $1,500 a year you're saving, you know, in, in payment, that's, that's huge. 